Hi there, it's Donna from Tappy Crafting. I am taking part in a 33 day card making sketch challenge. And I've been looking for some, it's not necessarily inspiration, but some motivation to keep me going with producing um, blog posts. And you know, sometimes when your crafty mojo has just completely cleared off, you need some inspiration. And myself and my two very, very lovely crafty friends, um, Victoria and Karen, um, we've decided to challenge ourselves. And I found a post on Pinterest from um, and it's from cardstv.blogspot.co.uk. I'll put the link in the description bar and there'll also be um, a link to it in my blog. And this particular article on this blog post was from Mary's Card Sketches. And there are 33 sketches and the three of us are going to do them. We've, we've um, scheduled them into our diaries and it's going to take us right up until towards the end of November. And this for me is the first one that I'm going to do. So we've, we've planned, we're not doing all the same ones. So Victoria, Karen and myself aren't doing this sketch first. We are... Um, taking it from different places within the schedule. Anyway, um, so this is what I came up with. If you go to my blog, there'll be a link to it in the description bar below. Um, there will be a picture of the sketch, um, but it was made up of rectangles and squares and rectangles on a card base. Um, I might, next time I make it, actually alter these measurements here, but you know, I'm quite happy with that. This comes from the Playful Pets DSP, um, and I've just used the reverse of some of them. Black cardstock, white cardstock, real red ink, and then I've just fussy cut this little Pekingese dog for this one. And let me show you how I put that together with all of the measurements. Um, so this is a card about the layers, really. And I'll go through all the measurements with you. They will be on my blog post. But I've started off with a simple white card base. This measures eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And I've scored it down the long side at four and an eighth. And then I've just get my bone folder and just burnish that score line there. So there's my card base. And I'm just going to put that to one side. I've got a piece of basic black card stock. So I've just trimmed all of these down using my paper trimmer. Um, probably the most use useful piece of kit that I've got. Um, so this measures four inches by five and three quarters. And then I've got four rectangles to go on that. So this rectangle measures one and a half inches by one and three quarter inches. And this one measures two and a quarter inches by one and three quarters. So I'm going to put that on there like that. And then I've got this one that measures one and a half inches by three and a quarter. And then this one that measures two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter. And I'm just going to put those just in the middle there like that. And you can see where that's just gone a little bit fluffy there. That's telling me that the blade on my paper trimmer needs replacing. So I'll do that before I make my next project. So what I like to do is just work out where I'm going to put everything first and then get my glue and start sticking them. And I'm just going to keep fiddling with that. And in the end, I think just just stick them down, Donna, just stick them down. Um, right. Where's my glue? There it is. So I'm using wet glue for this just so that I can reposition these rectangles if I need to. So this comes from the Playful Pets DSP, which is such a lovely, fun um, set of papers. They're 12 by 12 and they just feature cats and dogs. It's brilliant. I'll show you some of the other bits in a minute. Um, so the other bits I've got, so we've got big dogs and little dogs. And then on the back of that, we've got some stripes. and We've also got paws. And fish and cats. I love this. I love this grumpy cat. And then we've got words and we've got dog bowls and bones and paw prints. We've got cat words and on the back of that we've got fish and bowls and uh, paw prints. 
more cats. These are really cute. These are super cute, these cats. And I just fussy cut these. I, I haven't got dies for them. I just fussy cut them. Fur. More cats. Look at this little dog. I've used this a couple of times in my projects. He's so cute. So, so cute. And look at this one as well. And again, I just fussy cut them. That's all I do with those. But if you like die cutting, um, you could use your dies with those. Right, let's get the rest of these stuck down. Um, in my blog post are links to all of the products. So for this project, I've just used white cardstock, black cardstock. I've got the DSP and then I've used my paper trimmer to, um, to trim that down. And I'll show you the stamp set that I'm going to use in a second. So on the sketch, there were these four rectangles. And the great thing about this particular blog post that I've been using is that um, this lady, I'm presuming it's Mary, has also put the measurements on there as well, which is really helpful. But you can adapt those measurements if you wanted to make a bigger card or a smaller card. Right, the next thing I've got is, apart from my fingers covered in glue, Let's just move these out of the way. I've got a piece of this. So this is the back of the um, bowls and collars and paws and bones. So I've just um, cut a square of that. That measures two and a half inches by two and a half inches. I'm just putting this together super quick. You, of course, would take take the time I'm going to put that in there. I'm not even looking to see if that's in the middle. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the middle. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I want to stick that on there. I think I want to raise that up with dimensionals. I didn't on my original one, but I do on this one. But I put my dimensionals down somewhere. I only had them about five minutes ago. Oh, there they are. So with this white card, I'm just going to put five mini dimensionals. Um, so one in the middle and then one on each corner. I don't use any more than that because in my opinion, it's wasteful. Oh, I've got an extra one on there. A little extra one crept on there. I'm not gonna try and take that off. I'll get covered in sticky stuff. So just take the backing off of those, these things are all over my house, absolutely all over my house. And I do hoover up and then you turn around and then another one appears. Right, so that's that in there. Now you could, if you wanted to, you can you can stamp something on there if you like, you don't have to, but um, you can do whatever you like. But what I did is fussy cut that German Shepherd. He's so cute. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a he. I'm saying it's a he. Um, and more dimensionals. So glad I bought more of these. Now I've got um, a haul coming up. I've just recently had a new order. It was a bit of a big one. Um, so I'll show you that. I'll have a YouTube video coming up for that soon. Gosh, look at all those dimensionals I've used on that. And then I painstakingly fussy cut that ball. And I'm going to put, if I can pick it up, I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the back of that as well. Can't believe how many mini dimensionals I've used for this project. Right, let's put those to one side. Let's get the back of these off. So it's a nice quick project this. Once you've sliced up all of your cardstock and your DSP, this goes together quite quickly. You can make a batch of these. And I'm going to put that there, like that. One of my crafty friends, Trisha, she has... You might know her as Smithy if you come across her before. She has two German Shepherds and I love watching her videos of them. They're so, they're just lovely dogs. And I know that Trisha loves this paper purely because it's got a German Shepherd in it. There we are. So he's eyeing up the ball like that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I've then got two rectangles of black and white cardstock. 
The black is one inch by three and a half inches and the white is three quarters of an inch by three and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to stick this one down with glue and that's going to sit in the middle like that. And then I want to stamp this one. Now you can stamp any sentiment you like, depending on what stamp set you've got. But I'm going to be using Butterfly Gala because I like this. A little note. Cards don't have to be about birthdays and celebrations and things. It can just be a really nice way of saying hello to somebody. And, you know, in our current situation that we're in at the moment, I know we're kind of starting to move out of lockdown. But, you know, where I live, we've been really restricted on, on how we can move about. Um, and so I've sent a few cards out to people just saying hello, like people I work with that I haven't been able to see. And I like this Butterfly Gala stamp set because I just love it. It stamps really well um, and it's just a really nice font. I like that. And I want to put even more mini dimensionals on the back of that as well. This is why I buy mini dimensionals, kind of three packs at a time. So each pack of mini dimensionals, there's three of these. So I kind of buy nine in one go. And that tends to get me through the month. And I'm just going to plonk that on there. Like that. So that's the main card and we're just going to put that on our base like that so it's really quite late at night now I've been to work this evening and I got back and I wanted to do some crafting um, so everyone else has gone to bed so I'm just going to finish this off and overnight let my video upload and I'll write a blog post and in there will be all the measurements and the product details that you need. But you can you can leave a comment if you need any further information about this project. You can come and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials and also follow me um, with regard to our sketch challenge that we've got. So there we go, two doggy cuts. But with that playful pets DSP, they could quite they could quite easily have been um, cat characters on there as well. So I hope you like that. I hope it shows how versatile that playful pets DSP is. Um, and I'll be back again soon with another project for you. See you then. Bye bye.